a really quick tutorial for anybody trying to launch Dark and Darker in their Steam on their Mac M1. Uh, first, uh, this is free, so you can use Whiskey to run the game. I'll leave the link to the Whiskey GitHub uh, in, in the description. Then uh, you just need to add a few arguments to your Steam EXE file and not the game in a library because it won't work. Uh, the values I use, you can see them here. You can also find them if you go to the uh, Whiskey Discord page and go to support and search for Dark and Darker Won't Run and you'll see the values that the other users use that, that, that are working. Um, they currently work. Um, you can also try to get a few more frames because uh, I get on my Mac uh, MacBook M1 Pro 16 gigs, I get around 60 to 80 uh, on the map, like Goblin Caves, and in the tower I get around 80 to 100. Um, so yeah, you can Google Dark and Darker Engine Ini, and it will like give you this GitHub page as one of the first results. And you download this Git, uh, then you go to your uh, like where the configs are stored for the game so the app data local dungeon crawler saved yeah windows so here you'll, you'll have to replace the game user settings and the game uh, and the engine.ini file just put like a dashes or something to s save your original ones in, just in case and it will probably give you a few more frames per second um, yeah, and then you can just run the game. I mean, it, it, it feels kind of fuzzy because the, probably the, the panel of the MacBook is not that good on the response time, but for casual, like, uh, games in normals, it should be fine. Yeah. And now it runs. It's just the, the resolution I use is quite low, just again to get as, as much FPS as I can. Now let's try to Enter like oh, it's the castle. Let's do good old crypts. Again, since I'm recording, the FPS might be a bit lower. But we'll see. Straight into the dungeon. Get around a hundred in the classroom and in the more open space it can about just still good. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> 